I'm still processing and haven't totally understood what's happening. Two of my biggest dreams came true on the same day. It feels so surreal. First, my family and I finally moved to a space that ticks so many boxes for us. It's a beautiful canvas where we can build a home for our needs and values. A sanctuary where it's always summer. Secondly, many of you found my channel from my previous video and I'm so happy to have you here, truly. Your support means the world to me and having you here is a very good reason to keep creating, sharing and building this channel that has been a long time dream of mine. Welcome and thank you for fulfilling my dream. To celebrate new beginnings, I'm preparing a delicious homemade feast. It's the season of wild garlic, so this plant will be the hero of my dinner. I'm planning to make some wild garlic pesto and herb butter for my homemade pasta and sourdough bread. I love the art of wild crafting. There is so much we can get from nature if we know where to search. All this area smells like a garlic. It's like entering some sort of a magical garlic world and it's so tasty, like yum. In this channel, I hope to inspire you to slow down, enjoy the seasons and go foraging, no matter where you are. We have managed to almost furnish our new home, but there's still a lot to do. I want my home to feel like I'm always on vacation, so I will bring in as much as possible natural elements and forge the core. But there are some things that I can't create and needed to order. I try to keep the practical mind, but at the same time to have a bit of fun too.
Decorating a space is a work in process, so I will be focusing on that during the next months. I have planned quite a lot of do-it-yourself projects and I'm excited to share the ideas with you too. So let me know what do you think of that. This is my favorite part, my 69 square meter garden. Another project that will keep me busy all summer long. I want to plant a garden full of butterflies and honeybees. I will be planting vegetables, medicinal plants and herbs that I can use in my kitchen and homemade cosmetics. But also, I will leave some room for cut flowers that I can use to decorate my home and in my craft projects. I have noticed that you enjoy watching those and I'm excited to share even more ideas and recipes with you. But for now, let's build a rack for my seed pots and start showing the seeds. So let's get this homemade pasta done. I have to admit that I have never done it, but I have helped my partner with pasta making for several times. So now it's my turn to hopefully shine. There have been times when I haven't enjoyed cooking, but now I feel very inspired to cook again for my family. I have to admit, again, I'm not the foodie, but I like to eat fresh and homemade meals. Also, I don't like to spend too much time in the kitchen, so all my meals are always very easy to cook. And I promise to share all those yummy recipes with you too. Make 
Making pasta seems like a rocket science, but it's not. Just like my sourdough bread and her butter. So easy to make. All you need to know is just a couple of tips. I've discovered that to live a happy, fulfilled life, we don't need things to be complicated. Sometimes all it takes is a few guiding insights to spark a curiosity and try something new. I hope that this channel can become a source of inspiration for you and also a place where we all can come together and share our tips and tricks with each other.